So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a transition to your videos on Android. And yes, I'm going to be explaining the transition that Prime offers, offers because it's confusing to a lot of people. So I'm going to explain all the transitions that Kind Master offers. But before I do that, if you want to learn some Android tips and tricks and video editing tricks just like this one, then you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell for new video updates. So without further ado, let's get started. So in order to have the transition, you need to have at least two clips. So you can either split your video into two parts, or you can add a video clip in the media like I'm doing. So if you don't know what a transition is, is, is the bridge between two clips. Between the end of the first clip and the beginning of the second clip. clip. So when a transition, when an animation happens in that bridge, in that bridge in this case here our bridge is this thing so you want to click on it you're going to get a different types of transition and if you click a specific type you're going to get a heap of transitions of that type like I, I have chosen 3d transitions there are a lot of them right here. these type of transitions give a 3d look so i'm going to explain a random one like checker flip that's how your first clip get to the second clip like this transition and you can see the time bars here this is where you can control the speed or duration of the transition you can keep it 2.0 that means the transition will long for two seconds I prefer keeping it to 0.5 or 1.0 that's my preference so that's how you add a transition now I'm gonna show you what are the types of transition kind master offers so first we have got the 3d transitions first we have got checker flips strips 3d zoom flip we have bouncy box that's my favorite of the bunch 3d flip and quagged glass after that we've got some classic transitions these are used for cinematic editing like zoom out fade through you can also get to change the color of the fade I prefer using white then you have cross fried. After that, we have got some fun ones. I don't use those often, but they're fun, like circle wipe, like knock aside, many circles. That's my favorite of this type. Heart wipe, and lastly, the star wipe. After that, we've got picture in picture. These are also useful ones, very attractive looking, like color tiles split screen video tiles corners inset video then we have got a theme called powerful on stage then we have the presentation this is my favorite transitions in the whole app favorite transitions uh, these are the most used ones and most powerful and effective ones like split you can make the split into vertical or corners then we have cover I use that often in my video then we have spin you can make it outward or inward then you have slide wipe strip wipe zoom out then block in clock wipe double split and my favorite one which is uncover after transitions we have got some pretty good ones as well like sentimental theme and then another theme which is called travel and then another unique one is the text transitions where you can add text into a transition like the square title and there you can see you can add titles you can add your text here you can see in these four bars then the captioned inset you can get to ch you get to change the color of the text and the background then retro pastel split title and lastly the retro terminal so that's all the transition this app offers but if you go also go to the asset store and click the third layer 
got a lot of transitions here to download you can check them out I haven't yet but I will soon so that's all for this video